All right, so today is Friday, June 3rd, 2016, the day that I turned 23. Yesterday, I made a video celebrating my one year anniversary. Today, I'm making a video celebrating my 23rd birthday. And I can't tell you how grateful that I am to be in the military. I am truly grateful. And each day, I am excited to be in the military. And you know, two years ago, when I was still a civilian, you know, I remember sitting down in my school's library doing my English paper and I stopped and I said to myself, you know, my finances isn't where I want it to be. My educational level isn't where I want it to be. My religious level isn't where I want it to be. My you know, relationship with my family and significant other isn't where I want it to be. My life in general isn't where I wanted it to be. And I remember saying to myself, this isn't so fun anymore. And at that moment, a quote popped up into my head and it said, when nothing goes right, go left. So I decided to look into things that I never thought about doing before, which led me to being in the military, right? And I'm going to be sharing with you three things that has tremendously impacted my life ever since that I joined, ever since I joined the military. So number one, because I joined the military, it has given me the opportunity to reflect. When I was a civilian, I didn't know, I thought at the moment I was doing all the right things, financially, relationship-wise, educational level. I thought I was doing all the right things, but nothing was working, and I was frustrated, and I was angry. Why is it not working? I thought I had enough knowledge, I thought I had enough skill, I thought I was around the right people. I thought I had the right influences. And I thought I had the right associates. You know, at the, at the peak of my business, I had 70 associates. But nothing was working and I was frustrated. I didn't understand. But being outside that environment, looking back, I was able to see the mistakes that I've made. And the biggest tool that I had to help me understand this is my journal. Your journal is your history book. And it's important that you have a journal. And you write down each and every single day what you were thinking. And occasionally read back on your journal. Okay? And which leads me to my second point. When you understand the mistakes that you've made. The military has given me the opportunity to restructure my life. When I was a civilian, you know, the priority was, the main number one priority was to pay the bills. Pay the bills in my car. You know, car insurance, gas, school loans, and you know, many, 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 many different bills, right? We all have bills. We all have stuff that we need to pay. And that was the top priority, to live paycheck to paycheck, to survive week by week. And when I joined the military, I realized everything is provided with the exception of some stuff like, you know, toothbrush, dental stuff, you know, hygiene, shampoo, body wash and stuff like that with those type of exceptions. But everything else, a place to live, a, a bed to sleep in, place to shower, place to pump and dump, place to eat, food to eat, transportation, everything was provided for me. So I said to myself, well, money is not the obstacle anymore. So what's my priority? So I started to restructure my life of what is important. And I understood what I needed to do was personal development and self-improvement, which leads me to point number three. The military has given me the opportunity to improve. My personal philosophy in life is to strive to improve each and every single day. Strive at 1% improvement. 1% is extremely, extremely high. You know, realistically, in a day-to-day -day basis, I would say to improve at least a quarter of a percent is a job well done. To give you an example, you know, four years ago, if you read my journal, my first ever journal that I started, you will see my first goal that I'm passionate about, that I'm all for, even till today. 
is to become a motivational speaker. And at that moment when I wrote down that goal, I didn't know if it was possible. I didn't even know how to make that a reality. But four years later, today, as you are watching me, as you are hearing me, you can see that with four years of daily improvement, striving for at least 1% improvement, you can see that the goal that I set out four years ago is slowly becoming a reality through the use of social media. And now, now that goal is obtainable for me, is becoming a reality for me. I am living that goal that I set out to achieve four years ago each and every single day through the use of social media. And I am excited to accomplish, slowly make progress, slowly achieve that goal that I'm so passionate about that I set out to achieve four years ago. And I even, and I wanted it way before that, way before I wrote, that, wrote on it in my journal. And it has been, it has, the military has given me that opportunity. And how, you might be asking, and how are you so sure of that decision? How are you so sure that the military has given you that opportunity? Because I read my history book. I read my history book. These entries that I wrote very early on, that I was so sure of that I was doing the right thing, that I was in the right environment, that I was hanging out with the right people, that I was doing the right business moves, you know, buying all different clothes, selling marketing for different companies. I was so sure that I was doing the right thing. But right now, when I read back on my history book, when I read back on my journal, it pains me to see the mistakes that I've made. And have I continued this path? Had I not joined the military, had I continued to be in this environment, be in the social circle, be within this influence, I can clearly see now that my life would be completely different. And being in the military has changed me because I was able to reflect and see the mistakes. And when I saw the mistakes, I was able to restructure, reprioritize. And when I saw the priorities, the new priorities, the more important priorities, I was able to improve myself. So those are the three things that I'm truly grateful for. Now, these are the three general summarizing, encompassing things, you know, within it, you know, there's so much more like finances, you know, there's other perks and benefits that I'm grateful for. But to talk about all of that would take so long. So I summarized it in these three things. And as I continue my short military career, I am continually going to reflect, restructure, and improve. And I recommend you do the same thing. When you join the military, or maybe you're not going to be in the military, you're gonna apply this in your life. Reflect, restructure, and improve. And from my experience, this opportunity to be in the military, to have that three things, has only proven to be beneficial for me as I am slowly accomplishing the goal that I set out to achieve so many years ago. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a great Navy day.